Hello, everyone. My name is Jeremy Christiansen, and I am working as a product management intern on the indexing team. Today, we're going to be talking about some tips and tricks you can use while you're indexing. So the first thing we're going to look at is moving uh, the entry form around. So right now, it's on the left side. But if I go up here to this little kebab, you can see we have options to move this form around. So I'm going to move it to the right. Some people prefer it on the right. Some people prefer it on the left. I'm going to move it back to the left. Um, you can also adjust how wide the form is. So sometimes you're inputting data that is long, so it's helpful to um, make this the fields longer and easier to see as you move down so that your data doesn't get covered up. Um, sometimes the data you're entering is really short, not very long, and so you can make the form smaller and that'll help you utilize this window to make the, the image larger. So if you want to go back to um, the standard size, you can say reset form size there, and you can see that it took me to the default setting. The next thing that I want to talk to you about is table mode. So here you can see that I have the fields, they are organized vertically. Um, we can actually change this into table mode by going up here to data entry and choosing this drop down here. And I'm in form mode right now, with form entry. I'm going to go to table mode. And this is kind of nice. This this provides this makes the fields um, listed horizontally instead of vertically, and I can adjust this table as I want to. Sometimes this is easier on the eyes as you're indexing, especially as you're working with columns. So you can kind of line up columns, and I could work on these names first, and then move to the next column. And if I want to add um, more fields here, I can uh, create more entries. Um, you can also go over to this kebab here and move the table to the bottom, which is nice. And down here I can resize it as well and, and line it up with my picture and, and start working that way. So that's, that's another nice feature. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is how to hide fields. So this particular uh, batch has these asterisks next to each field. So each field here um, that I can see, all these fields are required since they have the asterisks next to them. I'm going to go into a different project here. Just go to web indexing. Go on to another project I have checked out here, which is this US Missouri St. Louis military records. And inside this project, you can see I'm going to scoot in here. You can see a name of a soldier and um, I probably like what regiment or what, what group he was with. But it, but it doesn't show all of these other fields. So, for example, his give, given name is required in this um, batch, and surname is required since I have those. But some of these other ones aren't even on this document, and so they're not required. So this can happen in certain projects from time to time. And so if you're not filling out these um, fields, you can actually hide them. So what you do is you go up to this kebab here, and you can choose show or hide and hide fields. And then you can select each field that you want to hide. So I'm going to go down the list here and hide these fields just to give you an idea. There's a lot of fields here, actually. So I'm going to hide these and hit Save. And now all you're seeing is the given name and the surname, which are the two required fields for this project. Now if I want to revert back, I can... Uh, Go back here and say show all hidden fields and it'll bring it back and I'm going to hit save and now all of my fields are back. And you can remove all of them or just a couple of them, but you um, can only do it with fields that are not required for the project. But you want to make sure that the document that you're filling out every field um, that coincides with what the document has to offer. Another thing you can do with the fields is actually reorder them. So sometimes um, fields don't line up. Maybe I, I want to work on um, fields in a little bit different order based on the document. They should line up pretty well with the document, but not all of the time. So sometimes there, there are times where you may want to reorder a field. The way I can do that is I can actually go up here to a field like this given names. And you can see that little um, four arrow icon has appeared. And that will allow me to grab the field and drag it down. So now I'm going to drag given names below age 
give it names that's now below H. And if I wanted to go back, I could just drag it to the top. Or if I had it down here and I and I moved these all around and then I wanted to revert back to what I had before, I could go back up to my kebab and hit reset field order and that will give me back to the default field order setting. Another tip that is small but actually has become very useful to me is this ruler here. Um, you may have noticed it if you haven't used this before. Um, it's You can access it through the data entry drop down so I click here and you can see that I have show ruler check marked. Um, I can undo that or I can go back up here and add it again by selecting show ruler. This is super helpful. It just helps you as you index records to kind of keep your eyes um, focused on, on where you're at on a record. Super helpful. Now let's go back to this other project here that I we were looking at earlier. Um, I just wanted to show you this copy down option that we have. So here for these um, for the cemetery records, you can see that we have an option to put in a prefix for people, for such as Doctor, Mister, Mrs. And a lot of these records don't actually have that in front of them, but pretend like they do. Pretend like we had a bunch of records here that all of them had a Mister in front of them. So if we wanted to, you can type uh, Mister here, and then if we wanted to copy that down through all of the um, fields in that column, we could come up here to this icon here. This is copy text from the selected field into all following matching fields. I'm going to hit that and that will copy everything down. So sometimes you get into records where the information is the same all the way down. And that's something that you can, that's a shortcut you can use to, um, to fill that all in. There's actually a keyboard shortcut to do that as well. As you can see, if I hover over that, we get a little pop up and it shows us that for me on my Mac, the shortcut to perform this action is Option, Shift, and D at the same time. So just something to note there. The last thing that I want to look at today is how to add or delete uh, records in a batch. So I'm going to go back to a different batch here that I have checked out. I'm going to go to this um, these church records out of England. And you can see by default I have 45 entries here where I can enter records from this image. I don't think this image has 45 records on it to enter in here. And so say I got done indexing this image and I had a bunch of entries left over, I can actually delete the blank ones. So if you come up here to this trash can and hit that and you can delete all blank entries. I'm going to hit delete. That's going to take me down to one. Now let's say I, I needed more entries to add records from this image into. I can actually add them with this icon next to the trash can with a little plus sign. Here, and I can say after the last entry I want to add and I can put in here as many as I want so let's go back to the default I'm gonna hit in I'm gonna put in 44 here hit add and you can see I'm back to 45 entries or 45 places where I can record um, information from this record or from this image those are the tips and tricks that I wanted to share with you today thank you for joining us hopefully you learned something new and Hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. Thanks.